development compassion and loving kindness. My understanding in, in the Buddhist way is, you know, the first, really to understand the sufferings, the pains and difficulties upon oneself. one's own suffering, one's own pain, one's own difficulty should be understood in more depth, in more detail. Then you can try to apply that understanding to others. If you take that kind of step to cultivate compassion, then I don't think there will be attachment. I'm not saying completely free from attachment in the early stage. You know, you may have some, but won't have attachment, you know, usually there won't be strong attachment to the person or the being that you are, you know, you, you express your compassion. Many of us, when we express compassion or love towards others, many of us, we have no, we have not good understanding of suffering, pain and difficulty that other beings are going through in order to express your compassion. And that is because we ourselves have not, underst- have, uh, have not understood suffering very well in relation to one's own life. So the Buddhist way to approach, cultivate compassion, loving kindness is first understand love, compassion upon oneself, Com- and, uh, then through that understanding, then if we apply to the others, it will work. I don't think it, there will be that strong attachment to others. Mm-hmm.